and we're displacing action for Assange. We should be coming in live. Sometimes when we're hosting, uh, auto hosting someone, it takes a little bit of time for the stream to kick in. And there we are. We just displaced action for Assange on their weekly live stream where they're discussing uh, what's going on with the Julian Assange case and probably one of the, if not the most important trial of the century. And uh, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another live stream. Today, today is February 27th, 2021, and we're doing a movie club live stream. Title of the stream, let's talk about the movies we picked to watch on a previous live stream on December 6th. That's when we did the live stream where we decided what it was that we're going to watch. And uh, we're supposed to pick five and we ended up picking eight. There was a lot of ties uh, and it's fun. Um, I ended up doing my homework. I watched all uh, eight movies. Uh, definitely fun movies to watch. Some I liked way better than the others. And um, just to let you know what those movies were, I'm just going to give you the list. The list of the movies that we ended up watching for this live stream were Old Boy from 2003, Blood In, Blood Out from 1993, Prisoners from 2013, The Manchurian Candidate, the original from 1962, Ford vs. Ferrari from 2019, The Game from 1997, Inception from 2010, and District 9 from 2009. Those were the movies we were supposed to watch. Hello, Putin Roaster. How are you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic Saturday morning or evening depending on where you are whoa inception is a great is great in the ronnie 90 inception should we talk about it now or should we wait let's wait until people roll in opinions are welcome mine would be on the flip side i thought it was the least of the eight movies we watched Ooh, people are not gonna like my my uh my opinion of it christopher nolan classic it it, it was good it was good but it didn't i didn't care about the characters very much the concept was good cheryl how are you doing good morning good morning dragons lion or lions how are you doing <laughs> hope you're doing well hey chicho how's it going doing well brother thank you very much dub weaver good afternoon chicho good afternoon to you how are you doing deck man hello hello and elder god inception was an elder god um um I'm trying to be very kind with people with Inception. As far as I'm concerned, Inception, I would give it a, a three and a half out of ten. <laughs> That's what I would give it. <laughs> it was it was the worst of the eight movies by a long shot. I'm with Elder God on this one, but I'll give my opinion later. Sorry, gang. <laughs> and by the way, this is the second time I uh, I watched it. Right, I watched it first when it came out in the theaters, and. Uh, there was all this buzz about it. I went and watched it and it was like, damn. Holy crap. <laughs> Hot mom, how are you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Water exile. Hey, Chicho. Love the uh, film chat. I recently bought the Decal Decalog, which is a Polish Soviet era TV series that is outstanding. Each episode is based on one of the Ten Commandments, but it's not biblical. Seriously, very cool, very cool. Water exile. What's it called again? Dakal Dakalak. Dakalak. What does that translate to? And if you're on our Discord, please, if you guys are going to recommend stuff and whatnot, post it in our Discord so we can reference it. I'm doing great, Lion says. I almost got arrested a few days ago. <laughs> don't get arrested don't get into that system man also i agree i find inception pretentious it was so pretentious it it was what it was ding bobber chicho i just found out a, a legendary bmx park near my house in a forest is being oh, torn down by the city arg at least they've supposedly uh proposed a new spot for it 
I bet it has to do with the neighboring golf course. Oh, possibly, possibly. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. What is that? That movie? Yeah, that sounds interesting. Or the TV series. Had to do it with the neighboring golf course. What is your fave all time movie? I don't have a fave all time. I have some to go to movies that I that I watch every few years. Hey brother, what's good? What's good? Chicho cookies are good. <laughs> chicho cookies are fantastic. I got chicho cookies here and some of the roasted uh, sunflower seeds here. Okay. Blood in, blood out. Holmes, padre, padre, padre. Gang, just to let you know what this is all about. I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, if you want to follow this work, if you want to know what this work is about, which is layered on mathematics, you can follow the work on Patreon. I don't put anything on paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. For those of you that were supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. So I personally appreciate it a lot, and I'm pretty sure others do as well. So thank you. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay. And for those of you that are supporting this work on Twitch, thank you very much for the support, gang, for the subs, for the follows, for the conversations, for being here, for being on Discord and sharing information. And mods, thank you for taking care of business. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, LO, Minds, VK, Gap, and Twitter. And we do have a Discord page where people are sharing a lot of information. And you can come to our chat anytime you want on Twitch and type in exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up. And at the bottom there, that's our Discord link. You're welcome to join us. The Decalag. I don't know what it translates to, but I believe deck translate as 10. That's a DOS deck okay deck translate oh 10 commandments a log maybe a log is commandments i'll link it in uh link it into the score awesome thank you very much water exile parlor is still around parlor came back hot mom hot mom can't keep a can't keep uh alternative platforms disruptive innovation down for long if parlor wasn't gonna come back online then another platform would come back online to replace uh, or offer alternatives to the technocratic censored society that some of those in the establishment want to create f them <laughs> we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and it should be available in your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes q on message board no not q on message board a platform where people share information it's like saying that certain types of people that certain people that live in a certain street are this type of people because some people live there it's just a platform platform that has promised to protect free speech why wouldn't you want to be there All right and other platforms as well there's a few of them ding bobber i watched district 9 when it came out yeah me too didn't watch a second time for this out but uh, this but i did for sure it was so fantastic in my opinion for its time it was mind-blowing as a concept remind me the aliens <laughs> no, think about, okay by the way gang if you're in the stream we're going to be talking about these eight movies and it's a review and it's a discussion and it's full of spoilers no they didn't eat humans they love cat food uh, or was it a special group of criminals who ate the aliens for power that's what it was right and uh, by the way district nine oh should we talk about this well let me let me do this as well Boop. we will be uploading the audio to this or the video for the stream to sensor to bit and rumble if we have enough points to odyssey as well we don't right now i used up all the points i had and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by subscribing liking sharing commenting and if you're on youtube they do have youtube membership available you can support this work through youtube membership gang let me take these guys down what movie are we talking about first should we talk about district nine yeah district nine was great the ending was sad have you seen arrival uh by any chance yeah for sure i put out a movie 
uh, I put on a movie. I put out a video regarding arrival and their concept of time travel. If you do Chicho arrival time travel, uh, you'll see that video because I love the concept there. It was beautiful, right? How the time travel sequence worked um, for the aliens, I guess. I want a realistic and dark alien movie where the aliens are the good guys, but less fa uh, fantastical, more real. Yeah. And with uh, here, let's talk about, okay, gang, we're going to talk, start with District 9. Isn't that cool? District 9. We're talking about District 9. Open the floor for District 9. Before I forget, District 9, the director, the reason it came to fruition, I believe the director, the the people that created this concept, put out a short independent independent um, section of the movie online and then people liked it a lot and they get f they got full financing to make the full movie um, as far as the ending for me it wasn't sad it just left the door open for district 9 2 and I think they tr they brought it they tried to make it or something but I didn't watch it lines I love how Chicho says sensor tube, not even as a joke anymore. It doesn't even blink saying, no, man, that's what it is. It's Disneyfied, right? Uh, so, and we're going to treat it as a platform just like that. Like I had someone um, a couple of days ago post a comment saying on one of the short segments, out of our current events live stream, I cut out 11 short segments and only three of them, four of them, I was willing to load on youtube so out of a two hour current events live stream right two hour current events live stream i was only comfortable loading on a total of four minutes of two hours or five minutes six minutes out of a two hour live stream on sensor tube and even when i posted that on someone mentioned that you know they were they didn't they were getting annoyed at having to check out these videos through notifications and they were so short right my first reply was i can't believe you're getting your notifications through youtube or sensor tube and i can't believe um and the only reason we're not able to upload everything is because of the censorship on sensor tube so if you want to check out the full stuff go to bitshoot or rumble and that goes straight up okay but let's talk about district nine right this was a good movie i haven't seen it in so long hot mom is worth seeing again i liked it more the second time around actually i really liked it the first time around but more so the second time around w way more uh, applicable to our current society ding bobber yeah chicho i wanted a sequel so bad so bad he promised to come back in three years man it's been way longer than three years what's the scoop <laughs> Uh, Chicho, are you talking about that guy commenting about how they didn't uh, want notifications? I don't know if he said didn't want notifications. I think I think he said you know he was getting notifications for really short videos, and I I mean I loaded my shortest video ever, which was twenty seconds, <laughs> twenty seconds, on YouTube. And salute to the other. No, Ding Babur, I'm okay. Like I take, I take everybody's comments. Uh, I read them, and I don't take it to heart, but I do take the advice, and I and I get a good feel of how the content is being um, consumed, if it's being appreciated, if it's there's confusion. Like I, I don't don't I got a thick skin, man. Ding Babur, <laughs> like, I got a thick skin, man. I got a thick skin, I, and I appreciate the guy commenting, uh, whoever it was, right? Um, because it shows me that what SensorTube is doing is destructive to SensorTube, right? Because creators have to adjust their behavior now and treat SensorTube as not a platform where they can share everything. It's just a censored platform where you share whatever you can, right? That's it. Like It's not our creator's responsibility to police the platform is their business decision i think it's a horrendous business decision if i was a stockholder in alphabet inc and youtube uh, google right i would i would be selling liquidating all of it all of it the decisions being made on that front are horrendous horrendous it is it is right now one of the worst managed 
conglomerates in the world in terms of what gave them birth right what brought in their revenue have you seen uh chappy another good one by neil by chappy chappy is that the one where it's the robot they created a robot uh fighting robots chappy i th i think i've seen it elder god district none don't insult someone till you walk in their shoes don't insult someone until you walk in their shoes lions i haven't seen this movie but i'm not going to lie i've only heard bad things about it i guess i need to give it a watch a uh, brother it's a good movie lions it's very good treat it as what it is right uh which is an amazing uh story being told in a certain type of setting um i liked it i liked it right thing about chicho i know my skin like a honey badger so thick and floppy that snakes can't bite it <laughs> is that what honey badger skin's like chappy has been on my list for a while is it good i think i've seen it i can't remember yes 79 con says rupocalypse are YouTube notifications like emails or something? I've never bothered to turn it on since I check my sub list once a day, so I usually don't miss anything. Uh, yeah, you turn on that bell and they send you emails of the people that you want notifications to be sent to you, right? I haven't got, because my notifications are only on for uh, political stuff, right? and half my political stuff i'm no longer watching on sensor tube i'm watching on bitshoot and bitshoot sends out all the notifications and for the same channels i have youtube sensor tube notifications turned on as well but i don't get the notifications so i don't get notifications from sensor tube anymore about any of the channels that i've turned on notifications because it's censorship it's a blacklisting right sorry i miss you this morning ah twist no worries <laughs> <laughs> i didn't think you were gonna make it man you were supposed to give somebody a ride to the airport and then come back it's good it's good it's all good it was a great by the way gang just so you know at 4 30 this morning i've been up since like 3 30 right that's why um it's morning i never uh hit the the cure cabinet in the morning but i got up at 3 30 this morning to do a live stream with uh, um wake the beast uh, for a couple hours and it was a great stream salute salute to the beast oh yeah how was a beach twist ding baba chicho this summer needs at least one multiple dj live stream man if the lockdowns persist i think we'll try to get one done okay gang any other comments about district nine we got eight movies to go through any feedback i highly recommend it as far as my grade goes on district nine boop, i'd give this an 8.5 out of 10. that's my rating on this 8.5 out of 10 for district nine uh you've you've you had a connection for me what makes a movie just become phenomenal is that you care for the characters right you build a relationship to the characters right you participate in their struggle okay and district nine hands down both the human and the aliens okay you care about them lions 330 what are you talking about movies and get some no man <laughs> i'm good i'm good brother i'm good and we streamed last night until like 10 o'clock at night so i, I love the the marathons District 9 gets a 9 for me. Ah, ding bobber. Right on, right on. 79 Con, District 9, Chappie. Elysium is fantastic too. I recommend all of these. Very similar stories, but different settings. Yeah, Chappie, man. I got to look up Chappie. I forget what it's about. Gang, what's the next movie we should talk about? Should we go to Inception since it came up? Or I'm going to make my way up according to what I have here. So I'm giving the 8.5. Ding bobber gives it a 9 and we're telling people recommending people to watch it the next movie the game the game with michael douglas and sean penn <laughs> 7.8.75 official rating right on. 
from two from two of the reviewers that came out me and ding bobber together we give it an 8.75 8.75 how about the game how about the game this one came out in 1998 or something like this i believe and inception came out in 2009 i believe right the pawns were basically unwanted immigrants i was watching district 9 and thinking leave earth <laughs> they couldn't the spaceship wasn't working <laughs> the spaceship wasn't working but they weren't really immigrants right or refugees because humans uh, had nothing to do with them being in uh, johannesburg and south africa right the refugees and a huge portion of the immigrants in the world right the refugees in the world are created by humans uh, so we broke it we mentioned this before if we break it we own it so human beings that have participated in breaking certain countries certain regions those nations are getting the influx of the refugees coming in uh, district 9 was different it was i think it 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 walked a fine line for sure it was about refugees and stuff like this but it eliminated the responsibility of the creation of the refugees but that's not really uh what present uh situation is or human history is uh, i think it was more to do of how we treated the other whoever the other might be right that was my take on it right ding bobber build a wall in the sky haha <laughs> my movie your movie young polacks the game was a great movie and i saw it when it first came out in the theater as well elder god i remember a smile is cheaper than a bullet a smile is cheaper than a bullet the real mc mike how are you doing happy saturday saturday everyone hoo, hoo, hoo. the by the way the our neighbors downstairs they were partying last night when we were doing our stream they were still going until four o'clock in the morning <laughs> right on right on <laughs> good friday night party what do you guys think about the game i thought it was fantastic very well done i give it an eight out of ten uh the game eight out of ten from chicho uh i think it was a well done movie uh it has a very spiritual aspect to it right it uh it questions some of the beliefs some of the it questions the machine of what's important in someone's life and who who people are right and it was sanitized a little bit i think it could have been rougher but it was you know michael douglas and sean penn and a whole bunch of uh, high-end people at the time right the water exile curious to watch the game it's a good movie it's well worth watching i give it a seven and a half eight out of ten right i'm being generous right now giving an eight because i'm going to be hard on the other one. <laughs> oh, auto mod keeps on zapping things that are wacko chicho i'm about to dip but i'm just curious what do you think of the albino this envy mushroom i said oh uh supposedly similar to ayahuasca i don't know about it uh ding bobber diet thug thank you very much for the tier one sub cheers brother cheers and ding bobber i, I don't know that one I'll, all i know the price was pretty damn high but then you told me it was a special one so i don't know elder god the game was brilliant very clever adapted story on greed can blind your emotions yeah very good movie elder god rating out of 10 what do you give it brilliant that must be a nine plus what's a brilliant nine plus a movie can be brilliant and maybe get a six or seven as well because certain aspects of it were brilliant but i really liked um the game as well the water exile if you enjoy spiritual undertones in movies i definitely recommend terrence malik oh terrence malik is amazing the red uh fantastic he made tree of life badlands thin red line thin red line what a phenomenal movie badlands phenomenal sissy spacek and uh charlie sheen and uh, not charlie uh what's his name sheen anyway 
uh, during it. Terrence Malick, my second favorite American director. Um, Stanley Kubrick and Terrence Malick on the same level, really. But uh, I lean towards Stanley Kubrick. All of Terrence Mal Malick's movies are amazing. Dogman 900. Yo, Chicho, smoke, smoke this weed. My homie traded to soap. Got me coffin. Thank you for teaching me math, big homie. My pleasure, Dogman. Lions. I got to go. Beer and Xbox with the boys away. Have a good evening, Chicho and Chad. You too, Lions. Enjoy the beer and the Xbox. Hope you guys uh, kick each other's asses. <laughs> Whatever game you're playing elder god and you don't know what you love till till you in mexico with no mask bear, and no shoes i don't think he had shoes either <laughs> hilarious ding baba chicho is supposedly three times as potent and is much more visual and deeply introspective cool cool uh, take it easy right and this is not recommendation or anything ding baba right everybody's free to live as they want right seven nikon i was uh, i saw it a long time ago unfortunately one of these which you can watch only once very good in um the yeah there's a punchline to this movie so uh but even the second time watch it was very good i liked it dog man all i can think of when i see the title is the old meme you lost the game I don't know that one spectral shot how did the talk with wake the beast go it went fantastic what a nice guy spectral shot we did it uh, this morning a couple of, um, from 4 30 until like seven o'clock so it was like a two hour two hour plus uh live stream just discussing and then taking some questions from uh chat a great stream yeah fantastic super fun very nice guy highly recommend him all right Ding bobber. I decided to stay a bit longer. Anybody here see eraser head? Yeah, the old the old one, the bl uh, black and white. We should add that to the next. Well, tomorrow we're choosing the movies, right? Lark Park. Hello, Chicho. Talking about film. Talking about film. We're talking about game right now. We've got eight movies to go through, so I'm leaving these open for a bit for people to talk about whatever you want to say. I give the game anywhere seven and a half to eight. That's what I'm giving the game. Okay. The water exhaust. I also love Terrence Malick and um, Paul Th uh, Thomas Anderson. Paul Thomas Anderson. I don't know which one he's made. My favorite of Anderson's are The Master, There Will Be Blood, and Phantom Thread. Cool. There Will Be Blood is phenomenal. That's who it is. Uh, Thomas Anderson. There Will Be Blood is one of my top films of all time. We actually had it as uh, to watch list. Right? Ding Bobber. I know. I know. Elder God, the game was the father of the movie Nerve for me with Emma Roberts, uh, except she knew she was playing. Oh, I don't know the Nerve. David Fincher is a great director. I th I'm pretty sure I know David Fincher as I've seen his films. Cheryl, we haven't had a, a David Lynch in any movie set yet. Really? Selection stream tomorrow could be a good suggestion. Yeah, let's do, let's do david lynch which one which one maybe firewalk with me oh that could be good which one maybe firewalk with me i don't know that one lynch lynch one of lynch's movies called maybe fire firewalk with me i don't know that one at all and speaking of david finch both seven and fight club uh his best work oh he did those fantastic movies fantastic movies allow allow oh david lynch so i'm reading it uh, finch i'm going who's david finch so we're talking about david lynch my favorite movie uh lunch movie are blue velvet and elephant man haha <laughs> nice i love martin scorsese ding bobber 7.5 to 8 7.75 official rating uh uh as nobody else voted yeah if nobody's voting voting it is what it is oh real mc mike auto mod is zapping some some things has a ton of great work social network gone girl zodiac oh zodiac too oh my god actually i was very impressed with the 
company's manipulation of Nick, and it was a perfect frog in the water system. Little, little more. I'm the shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is the game. It's the Twin Peaks movie. Fire Walk With Me. Oh, it's a Twin Peaks movie. That's what it is. Okay, okay. David Lynch and David Fincher are different people. Oh, they are different people. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. David Fincher, the Fincher i didn't recognize it first or didn't recognize which movies he did mc mike hey anybody watched the movie hellraiser back in the 90s 80s yeah 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 that pinhead guy from hell reminds me of jeff Bezos. <laughs> nice the first appearance of pinhead on a cover uh in comic book format goes for a fair chunk of money david finch david fincher david lynch I'm all I'm confused. Spectral shots. Me too. Me too. What is all? Have you seen the Before Trilogy, uh, Chicho? The Before Trilogy. I don't think so. It took me much longer to see than uh, than than I should have. So many of my guy friends said they were romantic chick flicks, but in fact, they are really profound. We what are the movies called the before trilogy or is, is that what it's called before trilogy cheryl the game and really most of the movies in this lit list set had awesome cast awesome cast hellraiser director by clive barker from the uk david dincher david <laughs> didn't Elon must do an iron man cameo i don't know was he the evil sob uh, similar names similar names okay gang we're taking the game down next movie coming up inception 3.5 out of 10 i'm done <laughs> okay enough inception talk next movie no <laughs> let's talk about inception <laughs> before trilogy before sunrise oh before sunset before midnight i think i've seen one of these ones or i'm thinking about another trilogy which is blue red and something else this was a big thing see here's the kicker the psych test in the movie movie were all real to establish mental health is is or is is that true Allah god inception 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 is a beautifully immersive movie that makes absolutely no sense my problem with inception i didn't give a rat's ass about any of the characters i didn't feel for them i didn't care for them i wouldn't be friends with them i wouldn't want even to have a conversation with any of them and that hurt because uh i like one of the character one of the uh, actors in that very much right uh so i didn't care about any of them like there was no bond built at all for me and i'm being generous given the 3.5 I had I had to stop watching it. It took me three times to sit through it. I watched it. I watched it. I was like, okay, man, this is painful. And then I watched it some of, some of the rest of it the next day, and then some of the rest of it the third day. Inception, pa pa pa. El must uh, might have made a cameo or an Iron Man. It doesn't surprise me possibly. By Kolowski, by Kolowski, Ding Bobber. I watched Inception really high. Thought it was shit but didn't really get it like was it a dream inside a dream inside a dream i forgot i think it was a studio inside a studio inside a studio i mean the the the, the action scenes and stuff were were cool you know with the walls turning and they're doing their thing and stuff like this but i didn't care what like like for me it, one of the fun things would have been if someone walked in with a machine gun and killed all of them. I'd be like, oh, right on. This is getting better. This has turned out to be a better movie than I thought. <laughs> Water exhaust. Inception was too fruity and, and not enough uh, 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 Jungian. Jungian. It was also an ego trip. For no, yeah, it was. It's like, yeah, I wasn't impressed that the king the king stay that the king the king stay the king yeah the plot of inception is totally irrelevant christopher nolan movies are about the cinematography yeah that's what it that's what it felt like it's just man do, do the writing better stop treating your audience as 
as I don't want to say garbage, but as as people who are like awed by long sentences, like like you want a perfect sci-fi movie, watch Primer. Budget is like zero. The dialogue and where they take you with that concept blows away Inception, right? Red, blue, white was three colors trilogy by Kilowski. Yeah, red, blue, white. 79 con gang you want to watch a trilogy which is brilliant okay there are multiple trilogies out there right uh, this is one of them red blue white just cinema just candy for the eyes candy for the ears amazing acting amazing dialogue you cared about every actor in that movie uh, in all those three movies just awe-inspiring right 79 con do, do you agree elder god inception was so wooden uh, i was waiting for pinocchio to show up <laughs> hilarious gina how are you doing elliot page's character was basically there for uh exposition yeah I'm 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 uh, I'm glad we're getting a little bit of hate for Inception. That's great. I've had more uh, inventive dreams than Inception. <laughs> I've had more inventive naps than Inception. You, Cheryl, I can't decide if the Rubik's cube like effects were better in Inception or Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange by a long shot, by a long shot, because Doctor Strange, the characters were way better way more engaging you cared about uh, all them a lot more right it was funner inception as someone mentioned it's just pretentious it's like oh get away from me you well-dressed polished shoes people you guys make me want to vomit <laughs> i hope i hope you all get lost in the dream and don't make it out <laughs> I went from I want to be gentle to really trash talking this thing, man. Lark Park, how about the film Heat? Uh, Heat was really good. Uh, starring Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. And don't forget uh, Val Kilmore, a uh, masterpiece director by Michael Mann. That was his best movie. And uh, nothing, I don't think, if I remember correctly, nothing even came close to anything else that Mann had done. Uh, my inner self would have killed every character in 30 seconds. <laughs> enter their dreams plant the seed die okay i'm out the decalogue was also made by kurowski oh really water exile oh dude now i'm psyched for that show really beautiful yeah i watched it i am polish ah nice 79 con so the director is polish is that what it is i think one of the movies was set in poland wasn't it Ding Baba Chicho, I just thought of an idea. We vote for pilots of TV shows of any uh, genre to watch, and it's up to you if you continue watching after the pilot. Ah, bring it up on Discord. If people agree, we can do. Lark Bart, I did enjoy Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy, which was inspired by the film Heat and other films that Michael Matt had has directed. Yeah, personally, I know people are going to hate me for this. Uh, the christopher nolan's batman trilogy was okay with me uh i wish the characters i cared for more they were very dry um really pope grimy hey everyone hello everyone how are you doing cold duck uh pope grimy heat was great but the green screen in that movie so hard to watch those scenes uh -huh. great movie man uh, just the uh, interaction between Val, uh, Robert De Niro and uh, Al Pacino and Val Kilmore, Val Kilmore's character, Val Kilmore, man, Val Kilmore for a number of years, he he produced some amazing work, amazing work. I think White was set in Poland. White was set in Poland? Cool. Oh, God. I haven't watched those for so long. I need to rewatch them. Uh, and another movie on that level is 2046 uh, in terms of how beautiful it was. Uh, Chinese movie 2046 and that was a trilogy as well it was the second part of the there there will be love I forget what it is Elder God I believe that the main character was still in the dream state at the end that in spinning top was not going down ah but it did a little wobble it did a little wobble 
I, I tell you the truth i hope if it was a dream state i hope they never come out and they, they don't make inception too uh yes it was regarding uh um white cool 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 martin martinson finally i made it live to chicho greetings from germany greetings germany how are you doing okay should we move on for inception gang we're moving on from inception we're going to a way way more superior movie um uh, putin roaster the prestige was fantastic best christopher nolan movie prestige was great that was christopher nolan as well nice 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 the other movie we got ford versus ferrari thumbs up thumbs up i give it a nine out of ten nine out of ten so poloch 13 how are you doing what's up what's up 79 con i am not sure if it was white but one of them for sure another one in paris okay I gotta rewatch those. If Val Kilmore, Val Kilmore, Supreme Leader of Twitch, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Water Exile, love the David Bowie cameo in the Prestige. He was uh, Nikola Tesla, I believe. Yeah, he was. Yeah, Prestige was very well done. Pope Grimy, Prestige, I think, was Nolan's best film. David Bowie, haha, <laughs> that put it over the top, eh? <laughs> Gina, to my knowledge, that scene in the coffee shop in Heat was the first ever scene between Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. Really? At the time, they both had expensive career, extensive careers. They never did together. Robert De Niro and Al Pacino were uh, in Godfather. Or Robert Duvall. Was Robert De Niro in Godfather? Robert Duvall was love ford versus ferrari just a great film just a great film really really good film i don't know how i actually looked up who these two main characters were and it was based on true story i knew it was based on true story but i didn't really realize how true it was and i read up on both the characters a little bit mclaurin and uh the driver uh, i forget his name uh so super cool super cool uh so i found out it, uh, that was icing on the cake for me that's why i'm giving it a nine out of ten uh, it intrigued me i cared about the characters a lot right i cared about every character in this in this film even some of the pit stop crew just a joe blow worker that had like 10 second scene in one word i cared about that character more than i did for every character combined in the whole movie in, of inception right In Godfather, they film separate from each other. Oh, is that true? Very cool. Cold Duck, yeah. Two separate storylines. Okay, okay. Cheryl, Ford versus Ferrari was much better than I expected. Me too. I was very surprised. When I first heard of it, I assumed that it would just be car, uh, car flick, but it was neat to see the interaction if char uh, in characters and actors they did a great job they did a great job fantastic job really uh because i don't care about the car aspect of it or the or ford or ferrari the historical aspect of it was interesting to me uh toys and eagles i think it was more than toys and eagles um elder god uh, ford versus ferrari boys toys and eagles i think it was passion I think it was about passion and staying independent and free and compromise and collaboration and it was more than anything about the relationship of these two characters right um i really like this movie really it was a very good movie in my opinion uh pope uh, grimy heat was the first time they actually met each other the heat was the first time they actually met each other that's crazy on set i guess that's very cool man i didn't know that lark bark 55 but al pacino and robert de niro didn't share a scene in godfather 2 that um that's what made heat so special oh that's right that's right that's why someone mentioned the timeline that's right different timelines that's right spectral shot you don't have to know anything about cars to love ford versus ferrari which is an incredible achievement in my opinion indeed agreed very accessible and it wasn't about the cars 
the setting was the cars it was about a lot more elder god this movie i just couldn't get into get into it matt damon always plays himself it takes me out of the movie <laughs> good thing i don't mind matt damon's character well, in the movies anyway i don't know what he's like outside and christian uh, christian bale was awesome as always yeah christian bale is phenomenal actor gang what a great actor one of his best perform i think his best performance ever was the mechanic with without a doubt i think his worst performance ever it was batman um if i'm remember recalling correctly matt damon was a pit matt damon <laughs> matt damon was a pit matt damon <laughs> grounded matt damon salute gang American Psycho is fantastic as well. But I think the mechanic, what a movie. American Psycho was phenomenal. The mechanic, man. The mechanic. The mechanic. What a performance. One of the greatest performances in movie history. So my rating, 9 out of 10. Who's stepping in? Who's stepping in? We're going to take an average? 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Ding bobber, where are you at with this? Al Pacino and Robert De Niro are old friends, but Heat was one of the first films they actually uh, brought them together on screen. Cool. Johan Phoenix's best performance was The Master. Uh, it's about the formation of a Scientology type movement. Oh, I don't I haven't seen that one. Uh, Johan Phoenix, a fantastic actor. We could have a whole movie club with nothing but Christian Bale movie. Start with Empire of the Oh, Empire of the Sun. It was Empire of the Sun, and plow straight through. Haha. <laughs> Matt Damon was reasonable in the talented Mr. Rip Ripley. Elder God, five out of ten. Boo, boo, Elder God. <laughs> Ding bobber, nine out of ten. Official rating. Official rating. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. So if we take the average, so nine plus nine is eighteen. Plus five is twenty-three. Twenty-three. No one stepped in. Oh, Cheryl stepped in, kicked up the average a little bit. Cheryl's in an eight. Oh, well, Pope, Pope pick me is a six. So, so we got eighteen, twenty-eight, twenty-eight, and eleven, thirty-nine, and that's five people. So average is uh 7.8 or something it would be something like that right 39 five people eight yeah 7.9 or something so 7.9 7.9 when you hit something like this when the distribution of the ratings is extreme you need to read the reviews okay never take the absolute number because even imdb forget about raw tomato that's fixed right imdb is uh, uh, in their statement of what they seven oh seven seven people four forty nine so seven chicho i use a calculator okay <laughs> Bob awesome maybe i was being a little biased and kicking it up a bit kicking up a notch <laughs> so read the ratings read the reviews quick uh, uh, correction you said the mechanic but Christian Bale film was the oh machinist. Thank you very much. I always mix that up. Not the mechanic. Mechanic was uh, Sylvester Stallone, wasn't it? Don't watch the mechanic. Don't watch the mechanic. You want to watch the machinist. Thank you very much, Spectral Shot. Thank you very much for that correction. The machinist. The machinist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Machinist. The mechanic and a mass masochist. Cheryl says a buff side for averaging it's about uh, ingenuity not cars it's about ingenuity too bureaucracy kills how are you doing saint just germany hello hello gang let's go to the next movie another phenomenal movie with a lot of propaganda in it the manchurian candidate from 1962 i believe right frank sinatra lawrence harvey janet Leigh. for murder she wrote right great movie with tons of tons of uh propaganda elga charles bronson jason statham chicho the average rating was seven oh seven point not seven point nine yeah thanks for the correction uh ding bobber great movie this is this was a great movie 
uh, I had washed it in the past many many moons ago and I was very pleasantly surprised that I loved it still after that many years not that it matters oh mathematics always matters gonna be a good time just got here nice <laughs> you were here before twist got the drinks got the guitar very nice I got my drinks no guitar salute gang here's to the movies haha <laughs> mr brazil pasto you can tell it's old because the poster is actually trying to advertise haha <laughs> the manchurian candidate very good movie historically brilliantly done uh, really encompasses the mccarthyism to a certain degree going on there the politics of it the cold war the the ideologies uh, beautifully done and the dialogue the way they refer to the chinese and the russians and the communists and the reds wow 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 it's crazy how the manchurian candidate came out before the jfk assassination wow wow utah jazz jfk was 64 was it not just got to the beach ah he just got to the beach <laughs> ding bobber as in for your info to any uh, musicians alberton live 11 just came out and it is offering a free 90-day trial no strings attached worth a look into it cool the water is out chicho gatsby toasts black back gats gatsby toasts back oh gatsby toasts back haha <laughs> right on salute salute elder god i have to admit i watched the remake by accident i hope it translated from what i heard the remake is horrendous well that was with um uh what's the black actor's name um i like him actually uh, denzel denzel washington right the manchurian candidate can I see the movie list somewhere in Discord? Yeah, go to our uh, Discord page, our schedule. In the schedule, I have the list uh, typed out, okay? In the time slot Saturday morning that we're watching it. And Elder God created a folder in our main page where it says movies and music that we're supposed to listen to. Our homework page, I guess. And it lists all the movies with links to the IMD pay, IMD, IMDB page and or whatever page it is. It's IMDB, most of it, I believe. And Elder God put that together. So thank you very much, Elder God. Yes, movie music folder. Okay, awesome. Pesto. I don't know any remakes that are good. Uh, any remakes that are good. There are remakes that are really good. Um, Day of the Dead. The remake was phenomenal phenomenal really good um, the original was fantastic but the remake was phenomenal as well there are certain movies that the remake is superior to the original right yeah scroll up into the music and movies information cool awesome everyone filling in utah jazz how are you doing along the lines of 60s cold war movies do you like the movie dr strange law oh my god of course stanley kubrick at, at prime stanley kubrick was always on his best right as one of the directors that there's there isn't a single movie that he put out which and barton fink is the only one i haven't watched from beginning to end i from if i recall correctly uh but Doctor Strangelove is amazing, amazing, amazing. Lark bark, people talking to each other. I'm just gonna stay with chat. Uh, I think I have found that. Thank you. Awesome. Utah Jazz. The thing was an amazing remake. The thing was an amazing remake. Indeed, it was. Ding bobber. Anybody here play The Witcher Three before? I just finished it from start to finish including both expansions in less than a month it was incredible and emotional to be honest not for the faint of heart nice i try to get my hands on the witcher number one the comic book 
um, it's going for a hefty price so I haven't been able to get my hands on it Brazil pesto haha true but I feel like they always lose something in translation yeah. if they're being translated from one country to another if it's a remake of another country's uh, original movie like uh, La Femme Nikita the original is so my you can't even compare the Hollywood remake it was garbage the Hollywood remake watch La Femme Nikita the French movie and then watch the remake from Hollywood you'll you'll vomit on the remake from Hollywood I only watched like 15 minutes of it I was like oh god I had to turn it off okay so I think it's so more so applies on that front movies were my first love and uh, it will be my last the water is actually show your discourse servers are absolutely top class I learned so much you have such a fantastic community of curious mind. and there's a lot of people sharing a ton of amazing amazing information links fun stuff heavy stuff uh, chill stuff and informative news so very much thank you to everyone for participating in the discord um, I've I've basically reduced uh, me going to different types of forums social networks to get news and content that I want to consume and I'm going to my discord and I'm doing the same I'm sharing as much as I can in the genres that I'm consuming the most about right so it is phenomenal 79 con I agree Joker was uh, Johan uh, Johan's uh, outstanding performance definitely the best movie I've seen recently it was very good very good can someone pick three words to describe this movie please Cold War Cold War movie that's three words it's it's if you want to understand that period in terms of the the mindset and the propaganda and and the politics and the con power struggles uh, within the United States it's a perfect example of what was going on I have not seen this movie I am an idiot oh ding bobber you gotta watch this movie the remake had Nina the remake had Nina Simone no elder God remake of uh, Manchurian candidate had uh, Nina Simone oh if it does then I might have to watch it because I love Nina Cheryl an anxious um, pertinent timeless very good Cheryl so three words to describe this movie um, an anxious pertinent timeless yeah and ahead of its time really a masterpiece beautifully shot to be quite honest I hate most remakes and most reboots many basil pesto that's so true that's funny how uh, funny that you mentioned Nikita because I only learned about the original because I went who would possibly think of the stupid Nikita movie and realize there was an adaptation watch the original so good so good so good Joker is brilliant and hits too close to home uh, with most viewers yeah Brazil pesto I think two other good movies for seeing a version of pre-2000 America all the president's men and network network indeed all the president's men is really good as well those are two of my favorite movies yeah very good movies very good movies no Nikita <laughs> did you watch any uh, any on Netflix water exile I was about to uh, script war for citizen citizen Kane fantastic it's uh was interesting Gary Oldman Gary Oldman the uh, what was that? Uh, uh, Leon, Leon, Gary Oldman in Leon was fantastic. Uh, it wasn't really my cup of tea, but I had no idea of the big troubles Ol o Olson Wells got into. Yeah, Olson Wells was what a character. The professional, yeah, Leon the professional, so good. Gang, we're moving away from the Manchurian candidate we are going oh yeah did we rate this manchurian candidate 9.5 out of 10 because of its historical significance and its timelessness as cheryl stated i'm giving a 
we won't bother taking averages maybe unless there's a serious discrepancy here uh but <laughs> 9.5 as well 9.5 9.5 i met gary oldman uh, as well top guy is he another guy cool cool i agree i was surprised that it was only 7.9 imdb for some reason imdb black and white movies get lower ratings because people have a hard time with black and white all right Chicho. <laughs> 9.5 we get 9.5 from elder god as well awesome 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 seriously it deserves it gary oldman is one of my favorites yeah fantastic and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a journalist and publisher that is trying to that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org or julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube ding bobber did the average 9.5 it is 9.5 plus 9.5 plus 9.5 plus 9.5 equals 9.5 black and white and anything requiring thought <laughs> cheryl i wouldn't say that though imdb i find better uh than a lot of other it more honest especially the reviews especially the reviews two plus two equals five <laughs> okay gang next movie prisoner prisoner i had a hard time watching this very intense great movie very good movie very good movie um but it was tense right it was tense um so i i give this eight out of ten okay i would give this an eight out of ten seven to five seven point five eight eight depending on my move i would i would go anywhere between seven point five to eight point five i would say eight out of ten for this movie francis ha huh, is my favorite black and white movie of recent times i don't know that one water exile gina my favorite gary old gary oldman performance was as jean baptiste emmanuel zorg in the fifth element haha <laughs> that's right he was too he was great in that gina what a great performance oh no no that's what he does that in leon <laughs> takes the breath in i think i forget <laughs> jean baptiste emmanuel zorg he 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 played basically a lex luther in that show but a sci-fi lex luther fantastic making a making a deal with dark side right great great performance cheryl yes gina and serious black i can't imagine anyone else playing that role now serious black serious black which one is that one uh, cheryl francis ha is is good um brazil pesto says but it's not often recommended to men for some reason i checked my mom's amazon on my ex-girlfriend uh or my ex-girlfriend and they have francis ha recommended all the time what is this movie brazil pesto if you're on our discord post this in our movie folder this um and we'll get a chance to take a look at it we're popping tomorrow we're doing recommendations tomorrow tink how are you doing watch this last week still not sure how i feel about it since essentially if that kid wasn't tortured then it would have uh would have wouldn't have had such a happy ending easy 8.5 for me yeah for me the i usually don't like the hollywood version of movies the endings of movies uh where they do fist fights i hate those ones they ended with fist fight for some damn reason right uh, or they have happy endings and we set this from the beginning but i loved i i appreciated that it it didn't leave me destroyed right i i appreciated it that it showed a little bit of positive right oh wait are we hiding spoil no we're not hiding spoilers think no we told we said it from the beginning we're reviewing eight movies and we're talking about them and more movies so this is a spoiler stream a spoiler stream oh gary oldman and true romance was great as well yeah from the uh, from the harry potter series oh is that what it is oh serious black he's the, he's the 
bad guy in Harry Potter. I've only watched the first Harry Potter movie. I haven't watched the rest. I've been meaning to do a marathon on them, but I never got around. Prisoner took a lot of ideas from true true events and made it more creepy. Yeah, I can imagine, right? Um, not imagine. Uh, y you knew it took things from current events and real life situations. That's why it made it so um, so horrific in a big way, right? Uh, so it was very heavy, Ext by far the heaviest movie, Prisoner. Extremely heavy movie. If you want a heavy movie that you care about the characters, even the bad ones, uh, it was it was very well done. I have the IMDb link for Francis Ha. Where would I post that in Discord? We have uh, in um, the light section. We have three categories: main category, and then light topics, and then heavy topics. In light topics under film. We have a subfolder called film. Uh, if you can post it there, that'd be fantastic. Brazil Pesto. Sub Epstein X, how are you doing? Melissa Leo did a really good job as the uh, mad old woman. Was that her name? She did a fantastic job. It was. And the guy, the kid that was uh, being tortured, he's the same actor as there will be blood the evangelist and he he is as far as i'm concerned he is what a phenomenal actor that guy is right he sold me on there will be blood on that character and he sold me on this character as well and kept it to a level where you didn't know what was going on you knew there was something there but you didn't know what it was and you felt for them all, right? Bixie, how are you doing? Did you watch other uh, Gil Hill, Gil Hall flicks? Enemy and uh, Nocturnal Animals are even better. Same with Demolition. I don't believe so. No, I've, I've for the last few years, I've really tried to stay away from movies like this. I used to love movies like this. I watched a lot of them when I was younger, but because I consume a lot of a lot of current events i know the death and destruction that's going on in the world and just the brutal brutality of it so i try to not consume that type of content when i need downtime i need to escape and whatnot uh, so at some point i stop consuming these types of movies because it's it's just the humanity of it is so powerful that it leaves a toll on you right just did it awesome thank you brazil pesto appreciate it water exile francis ha has greta gerwig and adam driver it's kind of a good magnifying glass into the problems people in their late 20s have with settling down and weighing up your dreams versus reality it also reveals the status rivalry between colleagues and college friends it's quite interesting cool francis ha Cheryl, Harry Potter, I'll pull out my mom's favorite and most irritating saying, quote, you must read the books first. <laughs> I'm not going to sit down and read how many books is there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Think then, Paul Dano, great at playing a naive kid. That's his name? Also, amazing in Little Miss Sunshine. Oh, he was in Little Miss Sunshine. And I'm going to drop a bomb right now. I hated Little Miss Sunshine. What a dumbass movie. They tried to take everything that was quirky and put it in a movie and make it appealing to people. And it was, right? The biggest issue I had with my... One of the issues I had with Little Little Miss Sunshine was the... Was the uh, uh, what do you call it emo son that wanted to be a fighter pilot but he wanted peace i was like what love that little me little bit sunshine review <laughs> grow <Girl> for us 
and I love the predictive narrative as well. The characters talked about the future events in casual conversation in earlier scenes. Uh, for which one, Elder God? Which one is this? In Prisoner? The actor's name is Paul Dano. He also directed a movie with Jake uh, Gullahal called Wildlife. I don't think I've seen that one either. Brazil Pesto. I kind of agree. I was sitting there waiting for it to develop into something more until the movie ends <laughs> with Little Miss Sunshine. And one of the most annoying things at the movie, people people walking i actually saw it in the theater at the time when it came out people walking oh what a great movie i was like god damn god damn i looked at all around me and oh what a fantastic movie what a great movie what a quirky characters i was like man let me out of here let me out of here who are these people cheryl i still enjoy uh this type but don't watch anywhere near as much since having a child limited time yes but they hit too close and i can't let the emotional response go go as easily yeah yeah it sticks i don't want it to stick with me that long paul down is an incredible actor he was the young minister in in there will be blood totally underrated actor totally underrated actor he was this is this is how much of an amazing actor he is daniel day lewis some would argue is one of the greatest actors in our time he pulled his weight with daniel day lewis at par right phenomenal yes prisoner in prisoner okay i love the predictive narrative as well the characters talked about future events in casual conversation in earlier scenes oh i'm not gonna rewatch it but i wish i caught that but you have to pay attention you have to pay attention that in I, I it didn't ring with me brazil pesto daniel de lewis is so good that i don't even realize he was in half of those uh, those movies until i figured out he uh, who he was he's phenomenal elder god quote i hope you live long enough to see me dump your daughter down her uh down here with you oh oh the old lady when he was uh shot him in the uh, shot him in the leg and told him to go down i missed it damn myself yeah and there will be blood yeah we watched there will be blood last time pope uh grimy says uh, the water exile i watched gangs of new york for the first time the other day that also stars daniel day lewis i was surprised at how bored it made me for being a scorsese movie just my opinion i watched the first 15 minutes of gangs of new york i was bored out of my my mind it was uh what do you call it uh, uh leonardo dicaprio and stuff and basketball diaries i think is leonardo's best film really but uh and i wasn't i'm not really into leonardo anymore I, I think i don't like the direction it's gone and stuff uh and the movie was very boring uh and so i saw the you know little segment with uh daniel day lewis but i couldn't sit through the whole thing daniel day lewis was awesome in gangs of new york yeah i should watch it just for daniel day lewis and last of the mohicans i i thought daniel day lewis was amazing in last of the mohicans and uh the what was that movie called where he was the irish guy that was uh, freed out of jail friday what was it called oh in the name of the father was that what it's called fantastic movie yeah gangs of new york it's like the big street fight and then nothing <laughs> i couldn't finish gangs i couldn't do it either marty can do no wrong the first battle scene was just <laughs> chicho 90 percent of movies tell you the story in first five minutes <laughs> daniel day lewis was excellent in phantom thread it's sad he retired has he retired fully yeah 
Brazil Pesto. Oh, yeah. I want to watch the director's cut of The Last of the Mohicans. like three hours. Yeah, Last of the Mohicans. I really like it. Pope Pemi Chicho. Um, damning myself for missing the uh, the Brotherhood of a Wolf talk. Yeah, Brotherhood of a Wolf. So good. So good. Elder God recommended that one for us. Cheryl, my left foot, my left foot. What a phenomenal movie. And in the name of the Father are my faith. Yeah, name of the Father, man. Bring, like, powerful, powerful. I agree with DiCaprio's acting direction. He turned uh, down Anakin Skywalker. I feel like he is a bit snobby in his acting choices. Yeah, he's become a philanthropist. Rubbing shoulders with Bill Gates. Phantom Thread is so good. I haven't seen Phantom Thread. Brazil Festo, have you ever seen Master Master and Commander? I think that's the perfect historical movie. I don't think I've seen Master and Commander. Best bit of gangs in New York is a four-minute clip where Daniel Day Lewis talks about fear. Starts off with I'm 47 years old. Nice. Have you read the books? Gang, we're taking this one now. Prisoner, we're bringing out the next movie. Old boy, old boy. What a fantastic movie, Korean movie. I don't know. This was probably third, fourth time I've seen this movie. Loved it. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I have a fondness for Korean movies. I found that Loki awesome in Prisoner. Uh, when he figures out the old woman is involved his face tells her yeah that's the cop isn't it he was really good that looky is that his name phantom through is a must watch is it at water is that somebody please post it in our film so i know maybe maybe uh we'll recommend it for tomorrow's stream elder god and the red whistle was a great ad it was it was was it red or pink i thought it was pink Takida, hello, hello. When I was here last time, Elder God saying Brotherhood of Wolf, and again I'm here. <laughs> You're saying it again. Wow, what a deja vu! It is four months, dude. We're still talking about it. It's so good. It's that good, right? You should see the layers we've gone down. <laughs> Old boy, an intense film, an intense film. Best Korean movie. Best Korean movie. There are some amazing Korean movies out there. Uh, I don't know if I would say best Korean movie, but I give it a 10 out of 10. Old Boy Reboot sucked real. <laughs> I didn't even bother. I did, Hollywood remake of foreign movies. Uh, you know it's going to be dumbed down. You know it's going to be simplified. You know the brutal brutality of it. The psychological brutality of it is going to be missing. You know it's going to be censored up the yin-yang why would you watch I, I i don't know of any remake of a of a foreign movie hollywood remake of a foreign movie that has been good nothing comes to mind there must be one or two brazil pesto yeah i'm sure it's a little bit of a magnifying glass effect where uh, where we only see the best korean movies but still they're phenomenal yeah they're raw they're dark korean movies i find to be very dark brazil pesto i really like train uh, to bosan after watching it i was like quote finally someone made an actually good zombie movie oh yeah that was really good that was fantastic that's the one where people are getting sick and um uh, they're coughing up a blood i think it's it, initially people think it's like the flu or something that was really good that was a fantastic zombie movie w one of the best zombie movies ever phenomenal old boy how much can one man take train to basan was really fun really really fun i forgot about that movie master and commander combines cheryl says stories from a few books in the aubrey maturin series by patrick o'brien cool brazil pesto oh really i definitely should read those books he says elder god i couldn't find this movie so i had to settle for the remake sorry oh elder god how bad was it how bad was it the original is amazing 
you should have told me i would have uh, sent you a link where i found it <laughs> or a magnetic link where i found it water exile cruelly uh cruelly trailer dropped this week disney is going down the shitter especially after the mandalorian controversy with canceling the main character main actress yeah disney disney right train to busan was awesome cheryl says everyone's recommending train to busan busan krula and it has a sequel and it has a sequel train to busan has a sequel no wait takida train to busan has a sequel where i hope i'm pronouncing that right busan has a sequel the actor in old boy is fairly underrated he's yeah i think in the korean scene or the asian scene i think he's pretty well known i've seen him in a few other movies i'm pretty sure padre 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 old boy kind of reminds me of o odipius rex where the main character is just totally um, devastated at the end a real tragedy odipius rex i don't know that i don't know what that refers to epstein if you guys like old boy i highly recommend the movie i saw the devil i don't know that or the movie i saw the devil i saw the devil is that what you mean water exile what do you think uh will change with the zombie movie genre after covid chicho curious to know your thoughts um we haven't seen uh the, just the origin of a zombie we haven't seen a zombie movie come out in the last couple of decades at least two or three decades where the the origin of the zombie gene or the zombie virus is um uh, extraterrestrial so i think at some point we're going to see a remake or a retelling of a story where the zombie uh the origin is extraterrestrial like uh the body snatchers right but the remake of the body snatchers don't even bother watch the original right um as far as zombie 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 movies are just basically sort of uh deconstructing society and its problems amplifying the problems and human interaction right brazil master ha huh, disney has f u money so they're saying f u yeah disney has f u money really uh takeda so train to boston has a sequel and it's called peninsula busan oh that's the way we pronounce it busan so peninsula is the second part a follow-up to train to busan master brazil odipius rex is the old greek ah oh, old greek guy who sleeps with his mom and gets blinded oh by the way if you guys want to see what was that movie called um it was a movie shakespeare play that they made no oh, othello i think othello from i forget what year it was it was phenomenal okay i don't know the greek mythology to heart well i know the events some of them elder god a fellow chichonian would like some less macho options in tomorrow's choice just a heads up okay less macho would be fantastic we had a lot of macho going on right now probably but i think uh there's lots of amazing movies i hope you guys have your recommendations ready gang because tomorrow morning from 10 a.m to 12 p.m or 10 a.m until however long it takes we're going to do more movie recommendations for us to watch this time we had eight so it took us a while or it took me a while to be able to watch them all so i could set up a stream because i intend to watch every single movie uh that wins the heats right so tomorrow if you want to recommend some movies you're definitely welcome to pop in from uh starting at 10 a.m pst my time to recommend some movies and we vote on them to see what goes up okay how's about hardcore henry haha <laughs> i saw parts of it i was i i didn't like the motion of it so i was getting a little motion so i watched like 10 minutes and i had to stop it but i never went back to it yes train to busan to peninsula i gotta i gotta zap that 
I gotta, oh, I don't have a pen. Yeah, dang it. Someone post this in our Discord. I gotta remember to bring pen and paper. I gotta remember to bring pen and paper. Thank you for that, by the way. I read the fun zombie movies are the best. Fun sci fi movies. There's a good Korean TV show with zombies during medieval times on Netflix. Seriously? What? I don't know this. Link it up, link it up. Oh my god, old boy original. Does he have sex with his own daughter? Do they do they show that in, in the Hollywood version? Hardcore Henry released in 2016. Less macho. Let's watch Predator. <laughs> oh, by the way, Disney bought the rights to Aliens and Predator. So they're doing special covers on all their Marvel books being released for the last two, three months of Aliens was last month. Predators, uh, this month coming up, March. And expect to see new remakes of Aliens and Predator movies. And maybe at some point we'll see Spider-Man versus Predator or something. Or Aliens. Right? I have too many recommendations. Pick one, bring it on, and one recommendations per person. Odious complex means you want to make it with your mama. Is that what it means? God dang it. Are you on the West Coast? You show? I am on the West Coast. Cold duck, I am. Othello with Lawrence Fishburne was excellent. Was that the one? Uh, Cheryl, the Othello where, spoiler again, by the side of the lake, there's a tree stump and the girl is on it is is that the one is that the shakespeare remake is with lawrence fishburne uh what an amazing movie if that's the one that's the shakespearean movie i'm thinking about i think it was othello uh water exile speaking of shakespeare uh ralph finney uh Walder malt guy or <laughs> ralph finney we know yeah did a chilling version of Cor 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 Coralanus. It's set in a present-day America Roman Empire. Wow. And yes, the original with Arnie. <laughs> the original with Schwarzenegger. Less Macho. Nocturnal Animals is pretty good. <laughs> Less Macho. I would say Eight-Legged Freaks. Fun movie. Horror movie. Uh, Cheryl, this movie set was definitely testosterone heavy. Nothing wrong with that per se. But oi, at least one lighter choice would be helpful <laughs> agreed cheryl it took me a while to get through all eight movies like it was high octane right like we did this choice on december 6th we're on end of february doing a review of these movies like over two months later right brazil pesto oh my god predator are like an std at this point <laughs> what franchise are they <laughs> are they not in yeah it's horrendous it's too centralized. It's very graphic in the Hollywood version. Thano takes Scarlet Witch. Uh, really, on that level? No. In Old Boy, it was love. It wasn't. There was, because they didn't know. In, in, old, in the Korean version, it was very passionate and very endearing until you find out what it is. And then you're like, oh my God. Right? lady and trap was perhaps a top five movie all time ever despite danny devito's absence i have my choice ready you got your choice ready oh god okay awesome brazil pesto i was uh playing a tom clancy game and the predator showed up and killed me and my friend <laughs> he's everywhere <laughs> magnus robot fighter versus predator is a movie i'd watch dude 100 percent and just so you guys know there's a comic book series not series but a mini that came out magnus robot fighter versus predator number one and number two it was two issues okay so damn good so damn good so good right and the funny thing is disney ended up buying the rights to predator but as far as i remember there's only been one predator crossover with one of the big two characters and it was predator versus batman batman versus predator and that was dc right stunning ironing lady <laughs> gang old boy 
10 out of 10. Next movie. Hesse. Blood in, blood out. What up, what up, what a fantastic movie. What a fantastic movie. Super fun, super fun. Right? Very good movie. Very good movie. And really, it it did a fantastic job in terms of uh, giving the Cali feel uh, and what it's like there. I used to go to California a lot, and this really had a fantastic vibe to it. Right? Brazil Pesto. I feel like there's a board meeting every month somewhere in Hollywood where dudes in suits just yell out things like Mario versus Predator, Tomb Raider versus Predator, Rocky versus Predator. <laughs> That's exactly what I was just thinking. <laughs> Elder God. So Elder God, you're giving this a seven out of ten? I tend to agree. Seven, seven and a half out of ten for this one water exile adding this one to the watch list it's a great movie a fun movie and american me they go hand in hand this one and american me i think american me is superior to this tell you the truth um just because it's a little heavier darker well the, to a certain degree this one is pretty dark too and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org or check out our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube water exile adding this one to my watch look good good lark bark blood in blood out homie i may look white outside but i'm brown inside yeah and he meant it right it's not my fault color my skin you hated this movie elder god hated it with a passion how come why'd you hate it why'd you hate it rank rank 118 god imagine rocky versus predator i would love to watch that <laughs> takeda do you like anime movies indeed akira i've seen it multiple times ponyo seen it multiple times no ponyo i've only seen uh, pony i've seen um once uh, Pony is my least favorite of Studio Ghibli. Uh, will be my choices uh, for tomorrow. You can only choose one, Takida. You can only recommend one to go on the list. You can talk about the other ones and say it's a great movie. People should watch it. But to put it up for the queue to be voted on for us to watch it, uh, you can only recommend one. Okay. Randall, how are you doing? Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Boop. <laughs> no that was for old boy oh old boy remake was seven out of ten and this one you totally hated it damn how come how come i've been missing california i tried buying mexican food last night to get a taste of a home and it was very disappointing yeah i don't i don't you really eat the i don't eat the mexican food outside of cali and i haven't been there for ever right so haven't haven't indulged i've tried i've tried actually but nothing has stuck harry canary wow rendell five getting uh gifting five tier one subs to the community let's check it out wow 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 let's see who's summoned who got subs man k win got subbed lsb19 got gifted a sub uh the king stay the king got uh, gifted a sub gary from the mitten got gifted a sub rayo shino got gifted a sub <laughs> randall thank you very much for gifting the subs gang gang welcome welcome to the chichonian family fun times fun times we we talk mathematics and movies and read comic books life is pretty damn sweet and make liqueurs <laughs> salute gang salute to the to Rendell and everybody here talking about movies and what you love. Brazil Pesto, I'm a vampire, I'm a vampire, I'm a vampire. Oscar the Grouch versus Predator, Eric Canary's going, a matchup of the century, almost as riveting as a river runs through it. <laughs> wait a second a river runs through it it was not a bad movie vampire's kiss starring nick oh dude vampire's kiss is ph phenomenal 
one of one of Nicolas Cage's best movies is the most one of my vampire movie I've ever seen, and that is exactly why it is one of one of the best vampire movies ever. When he puts on the fake, <laughs> when he puts on the fake teeth, goes into the club, <laughs> grabs a girl, and starts biting her neck. <laughs> like what the hell's going on what a great movie vampire's kiss i've seen it a couple of times man vampire's kiss is so fun pure nicholas cage at his best at his best it's the it's the funnier version of the one where he's he's trying to kill himself by drinking going to vegas leaving Las. what's it called i forget that movie what's what the name is fun what's your major in office alpha male is that a question for me what liqueur did you uh take today this is a pomegranate liqueur pomegranate liqueur from a 2020 pomegranate liqueur i got 2018 pomegranate or 2019 pomegranate too but this is 2020 uh, pomegranate liqueur so salute and um as far as uh what my major geophysics uh major minor mathematics Rendo salute i'm sipping on a wee whiskey Ooh, nice on the rocks or neat salute za zabrawi na zabrawi na zabrawi cool elder god i watched it way back in 1990s and my younger self found it to uh found it to social justice back then i can't use the word on here to describe it ah uh, okay okay i liked it still i really liked it blood and blood out man it was it was good it was very very well done right it was it had cheesy moments there's no doubt it had the cheesiness factor of it and it wasn't as raw as a, as what it would be right but it was well done i liked it i would blood and blood out seven and a half out of no eight out of ten eight out of ten uh, eight and a half out of ten i'm gonna compensate for elder gods two out of ten <laughs> probably if he's gonna give it elder god what are you giving it my rating is gonna compensate yours <laughs> leaving las vegas yeah very good movie and uh, vampire's ki uh, kiss is sort of a comedic version of that brazil brazil pesto no joke i went out to a club with one of my old co-workers and instead of hanging with us he had a huge black cape on and he wa and he would hang out in the back and do the exact same thing as nicholas cage <laughs> <left him there. laughs> too funny too funny sure oh that's yummy what is what's so yummy what it do are are aren't bag 10 aren't bag 10 I don't know that whiskey. Art back ten, Cheryl, you know it, eh? Okay. He got fired <laughs> like three weeks later. Rendell, always neat for me. Always neat for you. Very good. Very good. Yeah, for me, the very high end spirits, they gotta be neat, right? except uh vodka that neat out of the freezer high-end vodka neat out of the free freezer uh whiskey very high-end neat neat uh, i do go on the rocks every now and then but never mix oh my god you see people take coca-cola and put it <laughs> it's like oh my god what are you doing <laughs> water exile another funny comedy is quote i love you to death oh i've seen that one uh it's about a pizza restaurant owner who keeps cheating on his wife and ends up in a murder it stars river phoenix and it's uh comedy gold i love you to death and it's got share in it doesn't it what's your snack today i have chicho cookies and my roasted uh, sesame seeds with salt but I haven't had, I haven't popped any yet. I've been reading the comments and just enjoying the conversation. I haven't had a chance to pop anything yet. I had some, I had a couple of cookies earlier this morning and like, it was sort of breakfasty at four o'clock in the morning when, it, you know, just before I was doing my live stream with um, uh, Wake the Beast. 
1.5 out of 10. Elder God, boo, boo. You're giving there will be blood 1.5 out of 10. We need to have a talk, man. Okay, Elder God, I'm, I know what I'm recommending tomorrow, and I hope it gets picked, and I hope you get to watch it because I want your opinion on that movie. And I'm going to tell you exactly what that movie is right now. My choice for tomorrow's pick is, I'm sorry, Cheryl, it's not going to be, it's a, it's a, it's a testosterone fl uh, flick. It's American Me. My recommendation for tomorrow's movie is American Me. I'm saying it now. I'm laying it down. <laughs> Randall gifted a tear once up to Elder God. Awesome. <laughs> we can't have that. <laughs> fun okay he kicks it up to 2.5 right on Randall we kicked him up one more one more point good good Brazil pesto I know I work at a liquor store some people are crazy one guy buys gray goose and <laughs> what the hell gray goose and diet coke <laughs> I only drink Caucasians on the rocks those snacks look young they're really good but they're homemade cookies this is this is like chocolate chip chocolate chip with uh figs uh i got a couple of sesame seeds in there too uh, sunflower seeds in there whole wheat honey uh honey cane sugar um uh, cookies with coconut butter um uh, coconut oil uh cookies i have a video online showing how to make the base of it and i switch it up every now and then depending on what i have right <laughs> pope grimy gray goose all day cheryl i don't prefer uh peated but i enjoy them my favorite scotch right now is craig uh Craigalachi, Craigalachi. I don't know that. Elder God, American me. Time, time, time. <laughs> Harry Canary, you always have the best snacks. Jealous. I just, I, I think it's important to eat healthy, eat well. I mean, cookies aren't healthy, but if you're going to eat cookies, you make the cookies. You know what's in the cookies. You got organic ingredients in the cookies. Now it's got a lot of chicho love in the cookies. Can't go wrong with it right maybe i'll make cookies for another auction that we do that's one of the things we'll send out to people cookies chicho cookie auction <laughs> redeem your points then i've seen guys mix coffee shots with vodka coffee shots sounds sounds so delish yeah these are really good man really th these these ones came out phenomenal Randall, I remember watching this movie when I was 15 or something. Back then, I thought it was a eight out of ten. I probably give it the given give it the Elder God rating nowadays. I, I I find it I found it endearing. I found it it had a certain element of truth and authenticity that was trying to get across. Um, there was definitely a Hollywood factor in there, but as a timepiece, I found it to be legit i found it to be good cheryl randall oh and the uh, glenn Mor morangi quinta ruben uh, yum man cheryl you guys know your whiskeys oh my god yes oh god i gotta i gotta write this stuff down pen and paper chicho pen and paper chicho scotch for drinking bourbon for mixing is that what it is cheryl but there are some amazing bourbons you can have neat right gina dissolve an effervescent multivitamin tablet in a double shot of vodka and slam it as quickly as you can. <laughs> what <laughs> serious is it yummy or are you just playing with us gina harry canary the old man said i could take any rug in the house the big lewaski haha -ha. I had I had Guinness with espresso shots before. It was pretty good. That would be good. Like Guinness is very creamy, so espresso creamy. No, it's good. Promise. Is it? Effervescent multivitamin tablet. I don't even know what that is. Effervescent multivitamin tablet. 
in a double shot of vodka. Mm. 7 Nikon coffee shot and vodka would work like black uh, Russian without uh, sugar. I used to drink black Russians uh, for a short period there. And, uh, and white Russians as well. Cheryl. Or was it a clue? I can't remember the names. Cheryl. I don't like how sweet bourbon is. Ah, okay. But I do like uh, Basil Hayden. So I tease all my bourbon loving friends. Hmm. Alka, Alka Seltzer. Alka Seltzer. That's what that is? Alka Seltzer? Effervescent multivitamin tablet? That's, that's what Alka Seltzer is? Oh, what? So Alka, Alka Seltzer tablets with vodka shots? <laughs> Is Gina, is this gonna kill us? What's the scoop? And gang, don't forget free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, see our see wikileaks.org or Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on CensorTube. Okay. Could be interesting. Could be interesting. Gang those were fun movies but definitely high adrenaline right should we go through them get drunk and foam at the mouth at the same time <laughs> during pandemics it might not be a good idea people will freak oh my god it's mutated i only drink mint uh, juleps yes great film lark bark elder god please add the year of movie choices tomorrow with a short description of film to help our poll wizard tomorrow indeed gang tomorrow's stream when you're doing recommendations put a hashtag and then the name of the movie is that the format we're going elder god the year and a little description right uh, and cheryl is is that the way we're going to do it is that the way we've been doing it i keep on forgetting cheryl's running our polls on these things hopefully she can show up tomorrow if not we'll figure it out uh she, she's been uh, she's been maintaining maintaining it for us and bet on horse races and bet on horse races thanks gina any multivitamin that you dissolve in water just dissolve it in a double shot of vodka instead oh okay oh that would be like strong candy then that's what that is okay okay takita what about a korean movie again sure memories of murder 2003 was a really good movie by bong jong ho the parasite director yeah and he did uh snowpiercer as well and snowpiercer was a fantastic movie there's one korean movie horror movie that i watched in the theater during a film fest like 20 years ago it was two sisters it was very like uh, there was a period where i was going to vancouver film festival and i was picking out every korean movie that was coming out to watch every korean and japanese and chinese movie i was watching trying to watch anyway there's some amazing movies out there you i'm ready hashtag hashtag movie title okay so number sign and then movie title and year in description if you can manage it so your name uh and then hashtag okay yeah have you uh switched to str no i haven't switched to straw power i think i think it's going good like this because it's putting movies in 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 groups of five that way um you know what we could do a straw poll but i think in this way the top two movies one or two movies in, in a heat sort of kick up and some you know those these movies might not make it if it was in a long piece of uh long list it's up to the mods and you guys gang if you guys want to do a straw poll we can do it the heats are fun um and it's sort of works sort of like uh, world cup uh, soccer when they do the when they do the pulling and they're doing the pre pre elimination rounds and stuff like that way to put the pressure on cheryl we need you for the polls i know we have been talking about about after the situation last time i know should we uh, take it to discord gang if if you if we if we can do it on a straw poll we can do it on a straw poll eagles and cycling i just finished watching the series the jinx about uh, robert durst wow 
quite interesting stuff i don't know it at all cheryl and as elder god mentioned a very short description is helpful when trying to decide between movies that way uh, that some may not be familiar with yeah we are taking no no we're, we're not taking suggestions i'm just throwing it out there just because uh elder god he didn't he gave it 2.5 to blood in blood out horse racing commentary is a great as well indeed and it's predator by his predator by a nose takita yeah snowpiercer is a very nice movie and netflix is doing a series with the series takita if you haven't watched the series watch the series it's very very good very very good okay and i've read the comic books there's a new comic book coming out on it too but i've read the two or three of them that are already out i have them here i like the horse race co uh, component but i've also looked at some options for ranked choice voting ranked choice voting that might be cool but could be just as messy without the fun <laughs> that's true it would be it'd be a good way to introduce rank vote uh, based voting to the community that way people have experienced a little bit but we could stick with the horse racing and gang just to let you know what we ended up reviewing today we did blood in blood out we did old boy the korean movie from 2003 i believe okay we watched prisoner or prisoners okay manchurian candidate original from 1962 we did ford versus ferrari we did inception was one of the ones we ended up watching we watched the game and district nine and fun movies and thank you everyone for the recommendations and participating in the polls right aside from that gang let's call the stream we'll be back here tomorrow at 10 a.m to i like the strict nine yeah me too at 10 a.m to recommend new movies for us to watch because we're out of movies the game was my favorite the game was your favorite dollar god cool 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 I, I had like a like three or four favorites in this one even though i gave some higher rank than the others uh, and i had one that i really did not like at all right <laughs> gang thank you for being here thank you for the recommendation ever seen deliverance yeah yeah good movie heavy movie heavy movie oh i got one for tomorrow cold duck nice 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 light topics would be good i might not even pick american me gang um we'll see we'll see great discussion both on and off topics thanks for the fun thank you for the fun gang gang if you want to know what this is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about which is layered on mathematics you can follow the work on patreon i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons and for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this we are live streaming on twitch that's where the conversation is taking place in the chat and if you want to follow this work live as it's happening twitch is where you want to be at and gang thank you for the follows rendell thank you for gifting the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the discussion thank you for being here gang and mods thank you for taking care of business and having our back great conversations great recommendations great discussion i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gap and twitter and we do have a discord page and you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want type in exclamation mark social and then it'll pop up all the links and at the bottom there you'll see our discord server and you can check it out and join the conversation there and hopefully we got a lot of links to some new movies that people are recommending we will be uploading the audio for this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading the stream to sensor to pitch rumble and if you have enough points to odyssey as well but for sure it'll be on 
the top three platforms we have there which is sensor to bit and rumble and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by liking sharing commenting and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership and there's a button there and for those of you who've been supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang i hope you guys have a fantastic saturday and if you can make it we'll uh see you tomorrow at 10 a.m and then on monday i think we're doing uh reading excerpts of terence mckenna food of the gods and then we got cooking stream coming on and different things coming on uh, we got a handful more streams set up my pleasure gang have a fantastic day everyone bye for now